Hello, Virgo, and happy first quarter moon in Libra. Let's get into it, Virgos. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what good news we got for you. Let's see what good news. Okay, we got two planets that are retrograde at the time of filming. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Let's get into it. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. Everybody's uh, full Buck Moon prediction video will be going up um, at some point on the 13th of July on the Patreon side. I've already prayed over your uh, cards. I already asked for complete and total clarity. Let's see what's going on. Somebody has definitely survived a lot. Here we have the Ten of Swords. But see, like, you're not lying down. You're not just like, you know, woe is me, none of that. You're ready to thrive. So somebody's wind blowing through your hair. You know, no matter whether your hair is long, short, no hair, your hair or not, somebody is really ready to thrive. So you've decided to move on from some past disappointments, which is a good thing because there's movement happening, right? And so you decided to really do the mirror work. This is you. Lover's card. So lover's card is not just about romantic love. It's about partnerships and beauty i mean partnerships and um your personal and your professional life and that's also about a decision so you made a decision to say hey i'm ready to thrive like somebody is really in just that whole mindset that you want to be connected to um relationships that just flow and that's what so first quarter moon is all about not only just setting an intention but putting energy behind it not just sitting on an intention like i intend on you know being in relationships that just flow in my personal and my professional life somebody's actually putting action behind it like okay let me analyze myself i don't need to complain i don't need to complain about somebody else let me analyze me let me look at me what what do i need to cut away at what do i need to do so somebody started studying their own love language that's what somebody started doing it's like okay i need to move on and i need to analyze myself am i Am I enforcing a boundary that if I'm learning other people's love language, are they going to learn my, have they been learning mine? If they haven't, then I need to, I need to limit my time so I can start moving closer and closer towards the people who have, who want to learn my love language, right? So that's what somebody is doing. We're talking about the lover's card. See, that's the decision you made. And so guess what? As you're moving on from something, your ancestors are clapping their hands. They're like, finally, it's time for you to thrive. You deserve it, Right. Here we have the emperor card. So this is where you said, okay, I'm at on the light side of emperor. You're saying, hey, I'm, I'm moving on from energies that are disorganized, stern, and inflexible. I'm getting away from those energies. And I'm springing towards energies that are um, springing forward towards energies that are um, organized and energies that are um, structured. You know, energies that are like, you know, the light side of emperor energy, right? I want to be around people who are, you know, that fire was for like a warm fireside chat. They're putting their energy towards their purpose. They are interested in speaking my love language. They're interested in hearing what I got to say. <laughs> this is my love language, okay? And and I'm interested in hearing what they have to say. That's what's going to make it a twin flame situation in both your personal and your professional life, right? They want that balance. You know, they see that you are your whole person. You say their whole both in your personal and professional life. So it makes a difference in your workplace and your um, your personal and your professional life. So you're learning how to move a little bit more strategically. Yeah. So, and so there are going to be people who are, feel like you're holding secrets. You're not telling them stuff. But really what it boils down to is that they haven't been speaking your love language. So they're going to tell you because you're calling your power back, Virgo, they're going to be people that's going to think that you're keeping secrets. How come you're not telling me stuff? We used to talk all the time, but now you're not talking to me as much. You called your power back. And that's really what it is. You're not keeping secrets. You just called your power back, right? And uh, we used to talk all the time and you used to do this and you used to do that. You started believing in yourself. That's the part they didn't see. You started believing in you, right? And so, um, and that's what that's, I mean, the, just that small change of you believing in yourself <laughs> made a huge difference. And so, um, you stop letting them overwhelm you with just the, whatever they was overwhelming you with. They just have a, um, they have a limited abundance mindset and they were just overwhelming you with that. They always in fight mode. <laughs> They always in argument mode. They always come comparing and competing and judging and all this. You like, I wanna be a part of that. I want stuff that just gonna flow. Like what is don't you wanna find out what people have in common? Don't you don't you wanna speak love language? Don't you So yeah. Anyway.
you're done with that. And here we have the nine of uh, wands. So I feel like somebody is now focusing on getting away from those types of energies. And believe it or not, those types of energies are now wanting to reconnect with you because they seeing that you flowing differently. You don't want to be connected to that. Like you moved on from that. And, and because this is you right here. And, and people are and guess what the is floating through the air now that it's like well what are you talking about that's not see that's what that's what um Pluto is exposing is exposing who is obsessed with staying connected to drama for real that's what Pluto is a uh Pluto is the um is a is the power and transformation planet it's also the metamorphosis planet. It's also the death rebirth planet, but it's also the obsession planet. Obsessed people. Some people are obsessed with drama. They are. When I say obsessed, if it's not, if it doesn't involve like helicopters flying through the air, people jumping out of helicopters with guns drawn. If it doesn't involve ambulance or you know blue and red flashing light somewhere, like they on television. If it does not involve handcuffs, if it doesn't involve something crazy going down, they don't want to be a part because they love they love the thick of being and into all of that mess. They they love all of that. Anything involving oh, it's something peaceful gathering. <laughs> Y'all know the type. Anything that involves a peaceful gathering when people have a safe delivery into like calmness and peace and they can go through a transition and feeling protected and secure and anything like it, it, the whole idea of that and so now that they catching wind because we're talking about air now that they're catching wind that you thriving oh now they feel like okay they want they they have got to have oh i know them but you don't know this about them and source is saying you are thinking you are thinking source higher power you're thinking your lucky stars, everything that you, you, and see, like I said, this right here, you've gone through a long and arduous journey, you know, of just like, just staying away from those types of energy. So yeah, it's two of them. It's two of them. They like to, you know, wear masks, talk about people behind their back. You, look at you. You're getting as far away. You're staying focused, right? You're just moving through a rite of passage. Just two of them. You just cut ties with them. There's two of them. You just, like I said, loving up on yourself. They just like to just create a, because it's something about their energy. They feel overwhelmed by something, but they like to play the bait and switch. And if you have to interact with them at all, it'll be just like, and these are two loved ones, by the way, if you have to interact with them at all, it's, um, it's just, like I said, it's so minimal. Like I said, it, it may be just via text. It may never be over the phone. It may never be hard, a conversation. It may not even be conversation because conversation is just too much. It, the, just to hear their voice may be triggering. It just may be conversation. Hey, how you doing? I'm busy. Click. I mean, you know, like not even talking. So, so here we have the hierophant card. Yeah, because these two right here equal nine. Four and five is nine. It, that's just how they built. That's just how they structured. It's it's generational. It's just how what was passed down to them. They it's just something in their spirit. They just. Their energy is just overwhelming. And so you got so, you want, you're ready to thrive and just, you know, staying connected to them just feels like you're just carrying bricks. It's just overwhelming. And so, um, because they, they're, they're motivated by something totally different than you are. You motivated by love. They motivated by just friction. So, yeah. So, but they watch everything you do. Literally everything. They watch everything you do. They just hover. Just pray for them. Just, just pray, just pray, but stay away. Pray, but stay away. There it is. Stay away, because it's not your responsibility to carry shoulder their burden. Believe it or not, it actually came from, you know, like for instance, if you have kids with somebody like this, you could be the calmest person in the world, but it can come from their the other side of the family, and you just like. Why are they like that? You like I think I think sometimes people feel like they have kids. I'm looking at this right here, this picture. I think sometimes people have kids with somebody. You may think, okay, you know, you could be the calmest person, but why is why are some of the kids just so wild and rambunctious, like the other side of the family? And some kids are just cool, calm, and collected. It just really is just like, what did they inherit? Just like people inherit eye color, and you know, so. Is it and or um, complexion or hair texture or whatever? Some people inherit that energy. They just inherit those spirits, those demons. They inherit that, and so 
it, it just make you just want to just <laughs> bust out the screen door. <laughs> just be running. <laughs> you know, same thing with some of your siblings. You're like, uh-uh, please don't invite me. But yeah, so yeah, that's what I'm saying here in the cards. Some of your siblings, you just like, mm -mm, I can't even talk to them. Like, just send me a text message, just group text. After a while, you just, oh, what, what? You know, so some people I think are going to start looking at you moving differently and all of that. They want to know where you are every five minutes. Oh, did you go on vacation? I noticed this. I know I, you haven't, you don't answer the phone as much as I'm just busy. Basically, you're just trying to protect your peace. You're trying to protect what you're creating, you know, and you, you need to create in peace. And they, they'll, you're trying to, like I said, the moon in Libra is about peaceful, harmonious relationships. And they just, they don't, they, they have to, they, it's like they create in chaos. So, so somebody has some kind of partnership in business and or in love um, coming your way and, and they will not know about it. They won't know you've already made a decision. They won't even have no, they won't have no connection with it at all. You're just trying to be 100% focused. So here we have the will of fortune. You're going to be fortunate. You're going to feel fortunate that you did. Because them in the midst of anything, it just won't work. It just won't work. It'll just be another failed partnership for you. Seriously, because it's just they, they get your spirit too riled up. They get your spirit. It's just something because because their energy, their spirit is so... They're, they're battling so many demons in their spirit. And because they're not... They don't believe... They don't believe that people will love them for their authentic selves. I don't know who I'm talking to here, but they don't believe that people will love them for their their authentic selves. They got to create, they have this, everything about their spirit. If you start, if you really sit down with yourself and notice that when, if you're connected to them, that the attention was drawn to you almost like, you know, in a, in a gentle way, the attention was drawn to you. But when people looked at them, it was almost like people almost rolled their eyes at them or, or even may have looked at them in horror. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my God, look, <laughs> we had a three. Woo, three of pentacles. <laughs> Woo. So listen, you like teamwork. So I feel like somebody's um, getting a promotion. So congratulations for a promotion. Congratulations for uh, for a promotion. But like I said, these are familiar spirits. They like to get familiar with people's. Um, they like to get familiar with how you think, right? They like to get familiar with how you move. You know what you do. They like to get familiar with all of that. <sighs> but sorts of saying, yeah, they're gonna start noticing just a different air about you. And again, just like I said, keep busy because again, you know, um, somebody's moving into a leadership position and you're going to, you're going to see the same type of employees like that. <laughs> they, they like to keep stuff going. They got a, they got a question. Like the presentation could be going great. <laughs> everybody else is like, <laughs> everybody else is like, oh, wow. Thank you so much. They ready to clap their head. Here come one that the hands raised. <laughs> And there's nothing wrong with people raising their hand, asking questions. The questions could be legit, but it's the way, it's the energy that they bring. It's that they always want to start some kind of chaos and confusion. Oh, I didn't realize we couldn't ask questions. <laughs> you know, that kind of energy. So sources like those are the types of energies that they just, like I said, they just like attention. They just like attention, you know, so. So, but they've been like that since they was little. <laughs> Not even their kindergarten teacher was like, thank God they going <laughs> their kindergarten teacher was like, thank God they going to the first grade. Like let them go to the first grade. They probably even they pushed them on through. They going to the first grade, they going somewhere. But somebody just has to understand it's just like I said, you know, you don't even need to let it get you down. Just pray for people and keep it pushing. Yeah, so here we have the eight of swords here. So yeah, because otherwise overthinking it will just drop your creativity. And you don't have to do that. That's a form of self-sabotage. You don't have to do that when you can just do the mirror work. Because it's not you. It's something that they inherited. It, it really is. It's something about, they, if they are their authentic selves, whatever it is, whether it's their sexuality, whether it's the life they're trying to create for themselves, something about their energy, they don't believe in themselves. So it, remember, water is, you know, whatever they're trying to create, whether it's they're trying to write a book, that's creativity, sexuality, sensuality, feelings, 
emotions, intuit, intuition, all of that is right in the sacral chakra um, energy. So it's not even always sexuality, right? Because sometimes you say sexuality that people just stay stuck on that. But it can even be them trying to create a life for themselves and being around people who don't believe in what they're trying to create, the kind of life they're creating for themselves. And that right there can create, a you know, all kinds of friction in their spirit to make something else come out. Like just their frustration and just that alone. So sources saying, you know, they may have had to prove themselves their whole life being around people that's telling them they're not working hard enough. So, or bullying types of spirits and either or sources saying to you, listen, don't let it wear you out. Pray for them from your throne. You know, it's just at this point, it's not even your responsibility. Just pray for them. Because there's two of them. They're around people who don't believe in them, telling they're going to, they lying and they didn't, you know, I didn't, you didn't see, they, it's just, there's too much confusion going on. They try to tell people stuff, people tell them, that's not the truth. You didn't stop lying about this. It's just. So they now they gaslighting them. It's just too much going on. But anyway, you learn how to take your power back by focusing on believing in yourself. But mixing that chaos and confusion, somebody start to believe that they would not get into a romantic life, a love relationship again, or uh, somebody start believing that their businesses wouldn't flourish again, or believe that they could be in a leadership position again. Because when you're around people who don't believe in anything, because people have basically extinguished their belief in them. They create so much chaos and confusion. Sources saying that you're going to have to, at, at some point, you're going to have to just distance yourself or just cut them off altogether because they will literally have you like this, feeling like you just restricted. You forgot who you are. So, and you're trying to thrive. So, yeah. So, congratulations on your leadership position. You start believing in yourself again. But sources saying to you, everything is fine. Just pray for them. Everything is fine. Literally everything is fine. Yep. Somebody's just now waking up from a nightmare. That's what it is. It's just like you're just finally, you're starting to see things clearer now. You know, after one incident after another, somebody is just starting to wake up from something. Like, okay, now it's starting to make sense that you cannot have this without this, right? Yep. You cannot have high priests without high priestess. High priest is the physical aspect of things, the material aspect. The high priest is as the spiritual. That's a that's like your 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 divine spirit housed in a physical body. That's all it is, right? So you can't say you you some you calling the person a liar when they say they believe and they believe they believe you know that they believe that you know they they see themselves in the management position and somebody says i don't believe in that i don't don't stop believing you dreaming too big don't believe don't believe in that that's been passed down to somebody and so source is saying you're getting away from them type of energies quick fast and in a hurry because they before you know it you use my I, be, I believe my money is coming in the mail or i believe i'm gonna hit this number or i'm i believe you know, I, I believe that I'll be the first person to do X, Y, and Z. And they the first ones to come in and say that they don't believe me. Okay, you know what? That's the first or last time I'm going to tell you that. You're not going to squash my dream. <laughs> You're not going to squash my dream. <laughs> Having me overthinking stuff. Um, <laughs> no, that'd be the last, first or last time I tell you anything. So, yeah. So, it's just not your responsibility. Just get away from them as fast as you can. They're ruthless. There it is. Eight of wands. That's right. They're on the wrong side of eight. It's two of them. And they love to play the bait and switch. And the bait is warming up to you. And then they switch up with the same stuff. It just, it's, so, it's the same thing. So like I said, your, your third eye is open. You already know what it is. It, it's, the same, it's the same thing. It's something with their energy. They feel like people won't love them for being their authentic selves. And, and there's nothing in your spirit that says that you wouldn't love them if they were their authentic selves. So they can't even blame you. Like I said, bait and switch, five, five, five. It's all, it's all three of the, it's three energies that really, they, they, it's inherited. They feel like if they open up and told people who they really are, whatever it is, how they really feel that people wouldn't love them for who they are. It's those types of people you need to stay away from. You're too free. You just, you're too free and they will contaminate your spirit. You're too free. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
And whoever started all that mess has all this shame and embarrassment and fear. Oh, well, people, what are people going to think? Like, like it's a reflection on them. Every, and then they got to watch you from the sidelines. They got to watch you live your wildest dreams. You got to watch you in a leadership position. You, they got to watch you live your best life. Yeah, so congratulations. Here we have the sun card, right? Here you are all cheery and happy and smiling and having a great life and living your best life. And they, I mean, they fighting something on the inside. Like I said, it's five, it's three of them. It's all three of them. They live in the same, I mean, the same nightmare. That's horrible. That's all you can do is pray for real. That's all you can do is pray. Because they all are, they all feel like they just trapped. They all feel like they just, they all feel restricted because they can't be free. They can't live their absolute best life. And so, mm, mm, mm. It's, it's just a state of confusion. It, it's, it's a state of confusion. I mean, the reading can go a lot deeper than this, but I, I won't, I won't, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to just leave it alone. Like I said, um, so when you're dealing with, when you're dealing with employees, because I feel like somebody's going to have employees, I, I feel like somebody's going to have employees that, um, I feel like, I feel like somebody in a leadership position, whether you're leading people at work or in some kind of organization, and the reason why I'm saying, I'm a, I'm going to try to say this in the most gentle way as I can say it. So let me just say trigger warning when I say this. I feel like, um, I feel like somebody is going to have an employee that is, um, incredibly smart, but they come from a family who is, um, all I can just like the word jealous keeps popping up in my spirit. Like the family is so jealous of how things just came so easy to them. Like I can see them like, it's almost like I've seen an employee like as a kid. That's just like things just came, like things just came easy to them. Like they either play instruments real easy or they just pick up like subjects just really, really easy. But when you come from people who are just like trying to make you feel bad about stuff, and you feel confused about certain things and people make you feel bad for like saying, you know, something about that is not right or you didn't, you're not, or you didn't see something that you knew, you know, you saw and try to make you feel bad or beat you down or berate you in some way, shape, from a fashion or hurt you in some kind of way, like hurt your feelings or make you feel like, you know, like like abuse you in like some kind of way like you know like abusive language cuss you out you know that kind of stuff then it's like somebody just carried all that throughout like you know you know like being teased for being super smart that kind of thing and so they some I, I feel like that's what somebody needs to watch out for I feel like somebody needs to watch out for that so however you however whoever this is uh virgo if you had that kind of employee or whatever um i feel like somebody may need to you know kind of like maybe have a side bar meeting with them or whatever just ask them if they would like to i don't know maybe do a presentation or whatever or something where they feel like they can like feel proud of leading something like give them a responsibility or something you know feel like they you know can lead something here we have Page of Swords. Here we have the King of Swords. Here we also have the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. Here we have the Queen of Cups and also the Nine of Wands. <clears throat> Page of Swords here. So your anxiety about something will be going away very, very soon. Here we have the Queen of um, Cups. But I feel like that's what it is. Somebody tried to make somebody feel like they weren't smart enough, like they didn't see or like the air around people always makes them feel like they didn't see or they, they're not smart enough, like they just felt worthless. Like they just like they not smart enough. Here we have the um pentacle nine of pentacles. But so source is gonna make sure here we have the nine of wands here. I thought I said nine. Yeah, source is gonna make sure. Um here we have the ace of pentacles here, some kind of fam and legacy wealth, you know. So 
as everything is lining up perfectly for you, as you're creating legacy, Source is going to make sure whoever you're connecting with, whether it's a child, grandchild, mentee, whoever Source is assigned to you, is that I feel like if, if it, even if it's a new love interest, because I'm seeing like a business partner, whoever Source is assigning to you, you, you're starting like this whole new something you're starting to make sure people have the space to really thrive. That's what I'm seeing for you. Like you're giving people, like if you have an employee that feel like they just was just kind of, their growth was stifled in their family. I feel like you're giving somebody the space to like really lead. That's how you're building. You're helping like do some kind of building with people. Like you're really, really leading, you know, helping people to know it's not them. You know, it was just the environment they were in. Here we have the King of Swords here on your throne, from your throne. You're helping them to create in a way, you know, you're helping people to create in a way that they feel like, okay, they're not losing their mind. They're not going crazy. Helping them to just change the environment altogether. You're going you're gonna to start seeing some people cut some people off. Like they don't want to have anything to do with these gaslighting mental abusers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody's associated with some nightmare spirits. Um somebody apologizes for betraying you. Mm-hmm. Somebody failed at stealing your identity. Like, that, like basically somebody wanted to be you. Uh, put yourselves first. It's time to do a crown chakra cleanse, but toss some things into a burning bowl because Source is about to put you, like I said, in the leadership position. And so, and, and whoever it is you're mentoring or group of people or whatever that you're mentoring, your compassion is exactly what a whole group of people need. Just what they, it's like, it's just like, it's just what their spirit ordered. Like, here we have, get some fresh air. Whoever's been spying on you is now turned on. They're like, wow, that's I, that's what I need, right? So you inspire some people to heal. The new one is extra special. Like for somebody could be in a, um, a new partnership in business and or in love. It's, it's extra special. Yeah, pray and meditate. It's time to pray and meditate. Yeah, it's time to pray and meditate. It's time to pray and meditate. True offering. True offering takes what can be an unbearable cross and returns it to love. Yeah. All right. So let's see um, as we're closing out the videos. But yeah. I feel like um, I feel like somebody is kind of sort of like I said in a leadership position. And, you know, as far as family members are concerned, just because it's, it's been, it has been so draining or whether it's family members, like it's blood relatives or married into or whoever uh, that you've dealt with before that you've moved on from, you've thriving from, you're leaving energies behind. Because that part is a choice to say whoever you're mentoring now moving forward into in this thrive phase of your life. I feel like because you recognize the spirit of what people have gone through, Source is assigning some whole new spirits to you, is what I'm saying here. Source is just assigning some new spirits to you. 999, nine, nine, I am unique. Yeah. Because it because the energies, even even the ones that's connect even the ones that's related to you or the ones that's con um the ones they have to wanna know. They it has to be a balance. It has to flow like they want to have to learn your love language. It can't be in denial about whatever it is they're going through. It can't be a whole bunch of chaos and confusion and friction. They have to want to, even at the, you know, even like, I feel like whoever is going into a leadership position, you now knowing what that spirit looks like, you being in the leadership position and just saying, okay, I've seen this type of spirit before somebody's hiding something else. Um, and they're looking for some kind of attention. I didn't know what it was before. It was just draining before. It just seemed very combative. But now I'm um, leading some kind of a, um, energy. 
in a leadership position, you're saying, okay, I know what this spirit is. Okay, now I can better able to handle this. I'm now better able. So here we have I am unique. So thank the past for your lesson and leave it where it belongs so that you can make the best of the life that is still yet, uh, the life that is uh, still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. Yeah. Because it has to be, it has to be on both sides. It can't just be like, the the it can't be like you know people who have known you for years and 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 just like still trying to be combative it has to be somebody who's just like people who just want want your help like seeing you at this stage of your life people who are talking about, well i know you from years ago who do you think you are trying to help me and i know this about you so so some energies just have that they don't want help they just want to they want to argue they just want to they want to extinguish people. They just want to wear people down. So you don't, you're not interested in those types of spirits. So grief. So tears are what happen when the ice and the heart melts. Yeah. So eventually, while you're taking your power back and people see that you're thriving and you're moving on and your abundance is growing, you're living a much better life and those kind of things, eventually those energies, they will start to kind of sort of, that ice in their heart is melting and they're starting to, think okay wow look at uh, Virgo they, they life is thriving they've moved on things are happening for them and so eventually now that you're holding your breath waiting but eventually those loved ones are going to come back around and say why wow, I didn't see I didn't have to put all that fight and all that stuff into it but keep praying for them so I have the power to change my destiny and so do they that's why you're praying for people you have they have the power to change their destiny too they have the power to change their destiny as well Sacred geometry, the signs all around, signs all around everybody. So, yep. So, um, yep. So somebody, um, it could be the songs that they're listening to. It could be, it could be just kind of how they handle stuff. Just how you know when you ask them certain questions, you when I get they seem like overly expressive when they answer certain questions. Like, you know, like you can't ask a basic question. They, you know, seemingly aggressive about stuff. You're just like, okay, I just asked you a question about such and such. I ain't, I ain't know if it's going to trigger that kind of response. So it's like they're more telling. Like if you ask a person if, you know, whatever. So anyway, that's what I have for you, Virgos. Thank you so much for joining me. But congratulations on somebody's um, partnership in business and or in love. And um, like keep on being a compassionate person, but make sure your cup is filled first so that you can... You know, recognize when you're around spirits that are really struggling with something, uh, being there or living their authentic lives um, so that um, you'll know how to navigate. You'll know how to help them. Um, but they also have to want to meet you like kind of sort of they also will have to want to want your help, you know. So that's what I have for you all. And I will see you all in the next uh, in the next video. All of the. Um, all of the full moon prediction videos are already up on the Patreon side. But yeah, somebody is just done with just combative spirits. It's just draining. It, it, it's just, just flat out draining. The, all the arguing and all that is just draining. That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.